Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Portia. Oh, where we have so much to do now. Oh my goodness me. So much to do in the new patch. It is insane. And I love it. So yeah, still got the slightly delayed uh, walking through door thing going on. Hopefully that will improve a little bit with time. And posts are looking good. I do need to change some of the uh, glass colours in the lamp posts. Oh, there's some new music. How very funky. Wow, I like it. So many surprises. I love like actually getting in and playing a patch because there's so much stuff that doesn't always get um, get told to you in the... Oh, double S rank. Conveyor belts. No! No conveyor belts. No, I'm not going to do conveyor belts. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it open so Higgins doesn't take it. I have too much to do to be doing, spending an entire episode doing conveyor belts. No chance. Right, you take whatever you want, Higgins, and I will take something else. Some wooden storages or some you know, I'm leaving it. I'm not doing conveyor belts. Any other double S rank commission I will take, but not conveyor belts. Unless I have time. If I have time, fine, I'll go and kill the 150, 200 llamas that that takes. Not a problem. But that, yeah, I'm not, not doing that. No chance. No way. No way, no way, no way. Good to stop Higgins from getting it, though, because uh, that would have been terrible. Okay, I have to fix my mailbox, apparently. With two wood. So, yeah, it is something that you can do. I think because I um, clicked on it and it had a piece of mail in, I didn't then think about fixing it. But there is mail in here. <laughs> Many, many, many pieces of mail. Okay, Albert. There are a couple of more things we need from you for the hot springs retreat. We need a powered pump to keep the water moving and a heater to keep it hot. Think you can do it? You're going to have to talk to the ladies at the research centre about getting diagrams. I'm looking forward to the hot springs. Just wanted to know that since the harbour got upgraded, we were able to import a few more prefab designs from Vega 5. With these parts, we now have available the factory building in our catalogues at A&G. You might want to check it out sometime. In the A and G catalogue. Okay, Sheila. Now you have a camera, and I have a shiny new printing press. It's time for us to team up and make some articles on local events and people. First, to celebrate the new upgrade you made with the Porsche Times, it seems right to have the first article be about our work together. I need a photo of me and you. Okay. Uh, thank you for helping us by spending your time examining products in yesterday's inspection. Here's something for your time. I didn't do a very good job. Add it, relationship 34, Dawa, relationship 13. I'm not sure why. Oh, good grief, look at all this stuff. From the Civil Corps. With the upgrade of the Porsche Harbour, we were able to get our hands on the newest relic scanner from Vega 5. This should help all ruin divers with their work. A one time fee is needed for the upgrade on the control panel in front of any abandoned ruins. We'll do that later. Uh, I had a great thought. Great for you and great for Porsche. Meet me as soon as possible. May I Gail, that's the hot springs. Uh, so we missed that one. From the research center, I've attached the paddle boat diagram in the letter. I've made the wheel paddles small enough that they shouldn't give the fish any trouble. I look forward to spending some weekends on Starlight Island, so get to it. Come on. And congratulations on obtaining number one position in the workshop rankings last month. You're a model workshop and inspiration for the rest of us. We're very glad to see such a wonderful workshop here in Portia and we hope you continue to search its quality. Here's your reward for achieving the number one rank. Any more? Is that all of it? That's all of it. Okay, and we'll get this. Now I had a little bit of an idea about... It's all... Because see how much I, stuff I get in my inventory each day? You guys are all like, oh, clear your inventory out. 
But do you see that big list of stuff that's all going into my inventory every day? I would have to put all that away every single day if they hadn't changed all of this. But I don't really need to label them, uh, to colour them anymore or label them or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all the, all the storage boxes up here. Bar one. I will make probably some more safety boxes at some point as well. I'm going to put all of these boxes up here. Out the way. And then I'm going to put one box, whichever one it is, I don't really care. One of the boxes will go, oh, it's the bottom of the boxes that gets coloured now, I see. That makes more sense. Unless they've suddenly... Oh, it looks like they've suddenly sunk down. That's why they're not... Col ah, right, that makes more... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why that I wasn't seeing the colours on them properly. So I'm going to take one and put it right by... Like... Um, my gate or something like that. In fact, even these small boxes would probably work. Because if you look in here... If I open this box, right... You can go into any of my um, chests just with a drop down. So all I need to do now, metal storage, metal and gems. Oh yeah, these ones have double. Right, yes, yeah, so it does um, give you the full inventory. So all I need to do is put one wooden storage, like say by the gate where I might need to put things. And then maybe one little wooden storage down by the bottom there. And then everything will get redirected up here. So that's awesome. But what I do need to make sure is that everything is in the right places up here. So if I sort, yes, all that stuff will go away. It should be a fairly simple job just to sort through everything each day then. And I could have like a chest up here for fish, I could have all sorts of cool things. It's going to be a lot, lot better. So I'll put all my storage up here and then I'll have two access boxes. Which is going to be so much better. You don't need the boxes just like taking up all the room. You can just have access boxes. And the thing is as well, once you've put a thing in a place unless I actually go in and manually move it it will stay put it'll stay where it should be which is fantastic as well so I think the wood chest did have a couple of um, storage boxes in it I'm pretty sure by the way, guys, I can see today. I've got glasses today. I know. Exciting. There's so much stuff that I need, like, bigger boxes for and things like that. But the time that I used to spend sourcing all my inventory out can be spent doing things like making new boxes to put inventory into. Hurrah. Okay, so what's the... Wood chest some spare boxes in and I'm going to just take these and pop them around and they will basically be just access points for my inventory so basically all I need is a little little wee box there go to that and I find my whole inventory all lovely and beautifully labeled another access box maybe oh it's a shame I can't fit it in there Maybe just here, just on the path, just kind of out of the way. It'll take me a little while to get used to this, but basically what I'll do is I'll take the stuff out of the box every day, I'll go into here and I'll sort everything out. Like that apricot and those pigments. Okay, so I can stand here and sort a few other things. I've got this that needs to go to the museum, this that I want to keep, a few things that are gifts. Got a lucky chest that I need to open. We have a few ingredients. 
So the only time I'm going to really need to go, um, uh, so I need to maybe rename this one access one so that I know what I'm using it for. So access one. Confirm. And I can see all the other wooden storages, decide what's in them. Do a lot of inventory management is going to be done. Okay. Just, just let's put it that way. Um, so I want my stone chest. I want to put my marble floorings in there. I want my ingredients chest to put my fish in if there's room. Which there isn't really. That needs an upgrade. That needs to be upgraded to a bigger one. No, no, no. Cooking. Got some cooked foods as well. Uh, foie gras, to be honest. Oh, I need to eat that because that's like... I've got three of them somehow. No, I don't. What's that? Foie gras with orange. Foie gras with orange. That's spaghetti. What am I on about? I need to eat that. And I have many, many ingredients that need to go away as well. Apricots into the helper box, though. I'm going to move the helper box so it's next. It would make more sense, wouldn't it? To move it next to this one. So you've got these two little tiny boxes. Um, can't go any further back? No. Okay, I'll just have to stay like that. It's a little out of line. We've basically got two, these two little boxes just by the door. And they've got all the stuff in them. So I've got an access box next to the helper box. In fact, can I get to helper box from here as well? I can. Yes, I can. So it doesn't, the helper box doesn't even need to be up here either. That can be accessed. Put some. Actually, I don't know if I want all my letters in the helper box. Maybe I'll do like half in one, half in the other. So 212 or something. It goes into ingredients. Now ingredients, unfortunately, has tons and tons of stuff in and I can't fit it all. So I'm going to need to upgrade that box completely. Yep. Well, I also have metal here. I have um, those. Mechanical parts. Well, no, this was for selling, wasn't it? So one of my boxes upstairs needs to be for selling too. If I can get this all sorted out, it will stay that way. Um, I ran out of time of room for trees. I might have room for more later though, so I'll pop that away there. Okay, I'm gonna go and label the boxes up the top now. I'm just gonna take uh, I'll take helper up the top as well. There's no Grr. moving a tree around. That's not what I wanted. I'll move the helper box. Take that up the top with all the other stuff. And then literally the the chair the air will be empty chests down the bottom and they will be just access points. And all the actual stuff will be up here. So help a chest down there. That says art on it. It's just a load of miscellaneous junk, isn't it, really? So I need a chest that's maybe for clothing. Just a very small chest for clothing. I'm going to rename that clothing. What are you? Healing stuff. Well, there's stuff in you that is not healing stuff. So if I'm going to have a, a one for healing, why that didn't work. If I'm going to have one for healing then I need to just have a look in the ingredients box and see if all the healing stuff is in there like snake berries I would say is a healing thing, herbs is a healing thing, those are healing. 
So that's going to help that be a little. They've got like a bar in there for some reason. Rock salt should be in there. Meat. All of that should be in the healing chest. That's fabric there, so that shouldn't be there. See how good I am once, like, I don't have to think about it all the time. Let's get that organised again. Okay, get that in the healing chest. That in the healing chest. All of those being kept for presents, that's a present. That is apparently a present. Is there like a miscellaneous chest that I can put the llama traps into? Like, spare llama trap there. I may sort out the relics later as well. I might sort out the miscellaneous chest as well, but not right now this minute. I'm just, I'm, I know I'm wasting, well not wasting a lot of time, I'm using my time wisely but I know there's other things that you guys want to see so fish there that shouldn't be there, there's storage, storage boxes that should be in the wood chest there's honey that should be in the ingredients chest there's feathers that should be in the fabric chest Gift, 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 gift. Farmer trap. Things to sell, things to sell. Fish should be in ingredients. A metal should be a metal. Metal and gems needs relabeling. Those are to sell. Photo album. That should probably be a miscellaneous. Pinecock bowler, I think we can sell those. So ingredients. It's great that I can just read them and just put things in the right place. Did I put the honey away? Yes, I did. Wood. Spare storage chests. Wood is getting very full. There's a few things I could move elsewhere or I could make the box bigger. Keep the caterpillars on me in case I want to fish, I think. There's some things that I think are useful to keep on you all the time. Pigments, fabric. Fishing rod down in my inventory. Pickaxe down in my inventory. Snake gun in my inventory. Okay, now I'm going to open my uh, box here. Oh, I've got a nice little piece of furniture there. Lovely. Now is there another, there's a couple more wooden storages around that are not access one, so there's an access two and then there's this one over here, which is very miscellaneous. I'm going to take these all out. They're all very miscellaneous. I'll take those out to sell as well. And those, I'm going to actually put those into clothing. You coming over here? Thank you. Clothing has a lot of stuff in that I don't need. Like buckets and stuff, a waste bin. They all need to kind of go miscellaneous if they're not going to go anywhere else. All of this stuff. Not clothing, so it's not going in clothing. Simples. Some of the clothing could be sold, but like a lot of it I get as rewards, so I like the look of it and I like to keep it like it's just something I like to keep for my own nostalgia, really. Like, remember the time when. 
Hmm. Avac doesn't do fruit tea very well. Shh. He took a sip. He, he made me a fruit tea. I, I like to steep it for a certain amount of time and put a little bit of cold water into it so it's at the right brew temperature. He, I think he just made that like a normal cup of tea. We'll have to have words. I don't drink fruit tea very often, so he hasn't had much practice. Um, he likes proper teas, not fruit teas. It's like drinking water, like hot water, literally. Which I, a lot of people would say that fruit tea is, but I, I think if you brew it right, it's not as bad. Um, okay, I think a lot of this we need to sell. Like, there's so much junk that we just need to sell. But I will put the, the spare weapons that I've got, like glove, and things like that. That would make sense to go in the clothing, because it's clo like clothing and equipment. Where did that little glove go? I had it here a minute ago. Where's my boxing glove? Unless I had a spare boxing glove somewhere else. That has completely gone missing. No, it's in there. Oh, okay. So I want the wooden storage now to put those fences away. And I am sorry if this is taking a little a little while and you guys were hoping to see awesome new stuff. Okay, fences need to go in like miscellaneous or something because there's not enough room in this chest. Either that or I need to make a new chest. My bubble one could go in clothing and equipment actually. Some of these things are just very, very miscellaneous, very miscellaneous objects. Do you know what? We're going to put them in misc. And then that's probably going to be all of the messing around with that I'm going to do today. I'm going to sell a few things that I can sell. I'm going to take that down to the museum and then my inventory will be a lot better. Like, it's a work in progress. It's going to take me maybe a couple of episodes to just really get things how I want them. But it's a lot easier nowadays. Oh my goodness. I needed to label access to as well. So we'll do that later. I'm just gonna go up to the go up and sell things. All this rubbish that like I had a load of swords because I was gonna give them to Arlo to get um, friendship points, but now he doesn't like those swords anymore. So I'll sell all five of those. 99%. A lot of other stuff that I can't sell in here. Let's see about ANGs. And we can have a look in ANG in the in the meantime and see about that factory because I didn't know that it was something that was in ANG. So we haven't had a look in their store clearly since the patch has gone. So hmm, interesting. So is it in the store or is it it doesn't seem to be in the store like that. So maybe it's in their little book. Let's see if that's changed in any way. Oh, this is where the game crashes, you watch. No. Come on, you can do it, little computer. Okay. Factory. Struct. I thought I was making that down by the harbour. But apparently it's something that is that big that I need to somehow find space for. However, we do have a bit of space. If I just um, put it kind of next to the assembly table, maybe the assembly table could like turn around and we could have the assembly table and the factory next to it and then have all the machines in the middle. Something I could do. But yeah, if I move the machines and the work table around, so the work table needs to go somewhere else definitely at this point. That'll do, I think. This whole place is gonna need a good old rearrange, I'm pretty sure. Give 
Giving me more things to fit in. I don't know. And I don't know what the factory's going to look like either. So just reminding myself what a factory takes to make. Um, it takes... 50,000 gold. And that two advanced engines, which I can easily get. 18 aluminium plates. Easily get that. 18 composite wooden boards shouldn't be a problem. Of course, one thing I'm thinking now is if I took that commission, I would have loads of money, but never mind. Can't make it, so that means I can't make it. Change appearance on my fence. I can make it stone or wood. Don't want to. I like my marble. Anything else? Assembly station max level. Oh no, that is at the max level, max level, max level. Coop, shed, stable, we will have those. Gate and fence. Yep, everything is at max level. But I need some, I need some Wonga. How much do my fish tanks sell for? 218 each. These 20 Skyvers will sell for 752 each. And there are 20 of them. So I need to make some more stuff to get money, I think. I'm not going to worry about... Um, doing commissions that are going to take me all day i'll just put stuff anything that i can make i will make at this point and i will sell and we'll do a few more bits of story quest shall we that would be a novel thing for this episode let me go and see if we can make the um have a look at what it's going to take to make the paddle boat for a start, because that's going to be amazing. That's going to be like our main story quest going forward a little bit, which is something I really want to do. It's going to be on the assembly table. So what do we need for it? A paddle boat. Six hard aluminium, 20 aluminium plates and 15 composite wooden boards. So I'm getting the impression that aluminium plates and composite wooden boards are a thing now. Cutters, we need as many aluminium plates as you can muster. You can do 50. I'll have them doing 10 each for now. Just in case I run out of materials. The manganese is a little bit short on the ground right now. And then I'll have this one just working on the... Uh, like. 50 of the rest. Cool. Composite wooden boards. I can make 41 of them at the moment. So we'll make them on the main cutters if I can. Yes, I can. Cool. And they take tree sap. Hang on, let's look. Iron, wood, tree sap and wood. That's fine. Make 25 over here. 25 over here. They are definitely needed for all of the upgrades. That seems to be the thing nowadays. And I run out of tree sap. That's the reason why I don't have enough. See, this is why I don't turn all my tree sap into resin, even though you guys are always shouting at me to do it. Sometimes you need it for like things like making that um, fabric that you need for the conveyor belts. Quality leather, I think it's called. All those things. And you sometimes just need tree sap for things. So it's best not to use all of it to make resin. Otherwise, you're just out there chopping trees yet again. Always chopping trees. Talking about chopping trees, I do wonder how I am supposed to get... Now, am I, I'm friends with Dawa, aren't I? What's this? Day of Memories. It's like a ghosty... Ghosty festival. For two days. And it's only going to be four weeks away. So, just as we get probably to the end of all the content, or maybe before we've even done all the content, we're going to have an awesome new festival. Fantastic. I am wondering about the fishing competitions and things as well, but oh, so much stuff to do. So much stuff to do. Let's go over to my workbench that has now moved into a very silly place, but I've still got a lot of rearranging to do if I've got to get this factory in, unfortunately. So...
I'm glad there's more stuff going in like from the manufacturing side rather than the farming side because like, it was getting a bit farming heavy for a bit and it's more I don't think it's a farming game really it's it's of the ilk of farming games but it's not all about farming it's it's about construction in a cute harvest moon styly way right so just taking a pill there let me fall like acid again um sleep mask for mister this is probably under here i can make it now i made the pigments for it so we can go give mr mint his uh, things to help him sleep fantastic let's see where he is hot spring wait for albert's notice at home he'll send you a mail when ready hot spring villa is that a whole new building going to be going over there then? Alice desires something. Lucy des desires something. Ah, there's Mint. Right, okay. Let's just head down into the town centre then. With all the bits and bobs for Mint. And that'll be one under our belt. We'll see what happens to him. This is a nice little quest, because it's just one I could just do. Hey, Mint. Huh? For me? I can't think of anyone else that would do that for me. Thank you. It's very useful. Yay, 15 relationship. Right, now, I'm going to follow Mint. And I'm hoping that he goes somewhere where he can sleep. I, I'm kind of a little worried that he's homeless. So, I want to make sure he's not. Where's he off to? Up the bridge. I suppose it is only seven o'clock. He's just always wandering around and I never see where he goes to sleep. Does he have a house around here? He's just like checking things out up on the bridge. I mean, Mint is important to us. I do think that we should like make sure he's okay. I'm just worried about the fact that he was sleeping outside in the daytime. It's almost like he's trying to cover up the fact that he's got like nowhere to go I mean he works for his money and stuff so he should be able to afford lodgings I would think but you gotta take care of your friends guys even if it does mean stalking them okay I'm gonna quickly see um, hopefully I won't lose Mint he's just wandering down as if towards the town square Let's see what is wanted over here. Dr. G wants something. Hello. Recently everyone is healthy. The work at the clinic is quite relaxed. Isn't the workshop builder quite busy? You've been helping us out for quite some time. Is there anything I can help you with too? Want to chit chat about what's going on with your work? I'm all ears. Mining's okay. I think it's logging. Logging is the worst. Right, I understand. I wonder if that'll come back later for something. That's interesting. Well, let's go see if we can see where Mint has gotten to. Because I'm a, a lot faster than Mint, so I can I can race down here and try and see where he's gone. Oh, he's disappeared. I'm a terrible friend. Oh, no, here he is. So he's wandering down here. Could go and have a chat to Ginger quickly while we're down here. Hi, Ginger. I really like making small trinkets, but it's hard for me to gather the raw materials. I don't want to bother family since they're all so busy. They are. But that's okay, because I'll help you out. Whatever you need. Lemon juice. Last time apparently was not the right juice. Okay, so. Where did Mink go? He was walking down here. Did he go across the bridge or something? Keep taking my eyes off him. Where's he gone? He's walking in this direction and then seriously he like... I went to see Ginger for one second and he went away. Does he maybe live across the bridge here or something then?
Maybe maybe he's staying in the motel with Yeye. Mint, are you staying here? It would make sense. I worry. I do worry about that boy. I worry about him. To make sure he's okay. No, that's Yay Yay. She's the only one here. I feel bad sneaking up on her while she's asleep, but you know, I've got to watch out for that mint. Where's he gone? I'm very concerned. By the way, if I get the white horse, the white horse is already named, and so is the so is the um, giant llama. If I get it, I don't know where that minty boy has gone. It's getting very late as well, so hmm, I don't know if he turned around and went back. So everyone seems to have gone to sleep now. I will find out where he goes at night. It does seem to be a very late stop out though. Okay, so let's see how we do with this paddle boat stuff. And also, whether there's anything we can make for a bit of money to upgrade and get this factory. I don't know what. I don't know why I need a factory, but sounds good. I'm trying to think what what I can make. So I can make a recycle machine with loads of engines. That, that kind of sucks. I'll go all the way back to stone furnace. So stone furnaces and grinders are probably too small. Civil cutters probably won't sell for enough. Basic skivers, again, probably won't sell for as much as I want them to. A DD transport sells for a decent amount. It's one small engine. It's a bunch of stuff that I'd probably have hanging around otherwise. So maybe, but small engines, again, a little bit like hard to get and you don't really want to use them all up. Grills, not too bad. Water tanks, just make out of wood and brick. I had a water tank in my inventory, didn't I? Boom boxes are difficult. Removable batteries are not too bad, but they don't sell for much. Civil furnace, lift control. engine again. Civil furnace won't sell for that much, I don't think. Water engine is again small engines. Everything that sells for a lot is engines. It's all about the engines. Cooking set again doesn't sell for a huge amount. I'd be interested to know how much a water wheel goes for. fish displays. Do you know what I would be? Uh, industrial cutter then. Grinding saws. Hmm. Just looking for anything that looks it looks like it'd be simple to make, but the advanced sky of it seems to be one of the better ones, honestly. Bronze pipe, simple circuits and plates. Lara is complicated. Bridge tower is hardened clay. That might be okay. Steel beams. Steel beams wouldn't be too bad, but they're steel frames and they take a lot of making. Uh, large fish tanks take sapphires. Construction cranes take a lot as well. Depends on how much they sell for, but again, they're engines. The driller I can't make without the drill tip, so that's out. Water towers I'm going to run out of valves for, so I'm rationing those out. A loudspeaker wouldn't be too bad. 
depending on what it sells for. Engines, engines, water well, iron support. As I say, just without the prices on them though, it's really hard to work out at all what I'm doing with this. I could make a balloon platform and then it could sell for nothing. So I think I'm going to concentrate most of my efforts on making things from the workbench. I'm As I say, if you guys have been experimenting and you found the prices for like all of these things, it would be great to look them up. They might even be on the wiki, I should look. But my main thing at the moment... Is these um, fences, where are they? Under furniture. These herb fences, they look good. I can make seven of them already because I've made loads of rope. I've got loads of cotton. Loads of hardwood planks. Just need the fibre, don't I? So let's make some more rope. Make as much rope as I can. I can make another ten. I'm going to sell herb fences until I can't sell any more. I've got loads of stuff for rope. I've clearly been um, cutting down loads of trees, haven't I, recently? So composite wooden boards are getting done. Great. I'll make more hardwood planks once I've done a load of composite wooden boards. But yeah, they're all good to sell. And I think it's probably bedtime now, so I'm going to go and um, just pet Whisper and Misty Truth before bedtime. But, you know, we sorted Mint out. We got him his sleep mask and everything like that. And we've started working on the paddle boat stuff. Paddle boat is not a difficult thing, so I'm hoping that uh, I'll get across to Starlight Island very soon. I always forget to take Misty out. Whisper, you're so beautiful. But yeah, I'm still not quite sure about what the deal with the white horse is. Why it's so much more difficult. Oh, you're getting better to ride all the time, little llama. Yes, you are. You're so beautiful. Such cute little tail. Okay, both of you need to return to the stable, please. Here we go. Not you, Ak. I wonder, like, what they're going to do like, for Ak's voice. That'd be really interesting to know, won't it? Should we actually go to bed before we collapse? That'd be a novelty, wouldn't it? Okay, it is a new morning. Let's see if there's any more double S rank commissions. I wouldn't really be so lucky, but I think I made the right decision to resist the one yesterday. Because the thing is, if I take it and then there's no... Oh, good, they're not hungry. Fantastic. They're loyal. Let's train Misty Tree. Oh, I know, I need to get to the Commerce Guild. Get out of the stable. I'm too early. There's a question mark over there. What's that about? Lucy desires something. We'll see what Lucy wants in a minute. I 
thought there was a double S rank there for a second, but it was just a normal S rank. Gunpowder, satchels, or a water tower. Oh, we can do a water tower. I'm going to open the gunpowder one so he gets asked to take satchels. <laughs> I'm so mean to him, aren't I? No wonder he hates me and wants to destroy my mailbox. I don't think it is him. I think there's like something going on. Totes something going on. Screens. They so far seem to have been okay, just a bit lengthy. I'm really liking this new music, it's good. Okay, let's see if we have enough stuff for a water tower. I probably. I need to make large pipes first, so we'll do that before we even start to do anything else. I might not have enough resin to make large pipes, so... Oh, I only need one more. Okay. Let's go cut down a big tree somewhere. All of these have respawned, so that's great. Cut down a big tree, then I should be able to make my five large pipes, make my water tower, and make a bit of money. And obviously the more money I make, the closer I'm going to get to making that factory building. Thankfully, because I'm not saving up for all these huge um, land upgrades, it's not as difficult. But I do think I'm going to have to possibly turn, turn this around or something, or make it shorter somehow. There's going to have to be some definite squiggling around to fit things in. That's a technical term. Squiggling around. Right, so I should be able to make my five large pipes now. Ah. Did I not get any resin from that tree? I didn't even look, which is a bit silly of me really, but... Oh, I'll get the big tree over here. The really big tree. There's no way I won't get resin from this one. Things are sent to test me. There, two resin, perfect. And uh, I need to rename this box that's over here. So this is my access point for all things to do with my um, assembly table. So you are going to be called access two. Just so I know to discount these when I'm looking in the um, in the drop downs, I know access one and access two are just access points, and the rest are things where I'm actually putting things in. There's still a few things that I just don't have a space for, including tree sap, but that should go into wood. So yeah, there's still loads of like junk items that I just need to get rid of. Now, a cute cushion stool. There's a few furniture things that could just go into my inventory, but I just don't know. Into my house, not my inventory. Um. Right, so now what I need for the water tower. That's the next thing. Made my large pipes. I'm so lazy. Like... I will wait for 45 minutes rather than have to look through my box. Oh, I made my large pipes. Oh, no. Oh, actually, I went to get the tree, didn't I? Because I didn't have the resin. So this is the third time I've been up to this table. I'm not impressed. They've moved these things across the top, so it will, I will be a little bit like hesitant with it for a while. Fantastic. Water tower go. That wasn't too bad considering what a large commission that is. Okay, 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go and just see if I can sell some more of this junk out of my inventory that I don't need. Can I sell it here? I wanna buy some of these because they're good money. No, I can't sell it there at all. Okay, that's fine. Let's go into A and G's and have to see if we can sell things in there. Once my water tower's done, that'll be another 5k. So I'll be up to 17k out of my 50 that I need for the factory. I can sell my removable battery here. The prices are going up, so I will start selling things. My fish tank. Times four, that's another thousand. That store, I don't need the store. I don't need the washing basket. I don't need water tanks. So see, they only sell for 118 each. Fan. I don't know about that recycle bin because I'm never going to get that again, ever. I'll sell the washing machines though. And that spare water bucket. And this filing cabinet. I think I can buy those from Paulie. So yeah, sell that. Um, sell these fences back. I don't think I'm going to want wooden fences again, am I? Flower pot. I might buy that, sell that back to Alice maybe. 20 Skyvers, 16,000. Tea table, that's to be used as... Oh yeah, those fences. 3,000, 38,000. These, 39,000. We get 5,000 from the um, place next, from the commission. Uh, so then we'll be at 30, sorry, 44,000. So we need about another 5,000 worth of something or other. Sell that. I'm going to sell the bin. I don't need all this rubbish. Okay, let's go and also put the thing in the museum, the, the doll. I didn't really get very far with the museum stuff, did I, before the patch came out? This is one of those things I've got to keep chipping away at, along with social. Like, social and uh, museum relics was really the only thing left, other than kind of properly sorting out the workshop that I needed to do. So, just punching the microphone there again. What else can I buy here with my stuff? I can buy irrigation flooring. I can buy 50 of them for 50 discs. And an irrigation tower. Only thing is, you guys really want me to put irrigation into my ha into my place. It's gonna that's gonna take a lot of doing. I never know whether to keep them or sell them, but I think I'm gonna sell them this time. We're gonna get the factory, get all the really new stuff, and we'll put irrigation in later. It's not the end of the world. I can buy things off Sophie anyway. <clears throat> Let's go to Angie's. Sonia, you don't buy anything. You're rubbish. Actually, no, I'm going to see if anyone else buys them because I don't want to go through that loading screen again. If that makes sense. We'll see if Miles will take them instead. What does a llama trap sell for? 200. Hmm, that's reasonable, actually. Okay, 50 of them does sell for a decent amount. So we're already at 43,000. Yeah, it's not too bad. Too much left to do, is there? Make another 1.6 from selling um, necklaces. How about I keep four of them and sell the rest? And we're at 44. Sell that flower pot. Keep the llama trap. We're going to sell the photo album. Yeah. Oh, and I've got two swords as well. What? Oh, it's an enhanced iron sword. What does an iron sword go for? Wow, enhanced iron swords go for a lot. That's definitely worth um, going collecting skeletons for. They're like almost double in price now. 45,000! Go Shilab! So that now means that once I hand in that water tower, I have enough money 
to buy the factory. Oh, it would help if I went to the museum, wouldn't it? That doorway opening was fine. Oh, you need a water pump and a water heater for the hot springs in? Hmm, the powered pump shouldn't be a problem since Porsche already uses one for its water supply. We'll see about the heater. I need five data disks to help me with research. Great job, I'll get started on research right away. This is why I always keep always keep these d data disks in your inventory, even if you keep nothing else there. And eat my foie gras as well. Something's been taken away. What did I have in these slots? Something that improved my critical hit chance. So from now on, if I get any more fountain pens and things like that, I need to put them in there to get my critical back up. Or, what, or did I put like uh, trowels in or something? I can't remember, but there's a couple of trinkets that have gone missing between this patch and the last. Any more donation rewards added? Ah, yes, there is. You can get one of those little um, nice marble things. You can buy those, though. So there's nothing really that you... Once you've got 30 items, the rest is just... For your own satisfaction of really doing this. Because otherwise, you could just make the money to buy the things fairly easily. So this is the summer doll. So I think the spring doll is on the first shelf. So summer doll needs to go on the second shelf. Spring, summer, then we'll have autumn and winter once I find them. Which I think is a really nice idea, just having like four dolls and four spaces on a shelf. So I'll go and hand in the tower and then we'll see what we need to do to get this factory in. I might have to jiggle stuff around so it might not be till next episode that we get the factory. But I think I've done a reasonable job of getting that quite quickly. Because we have spent a lot of money on... I, I was kind of almost there with everything as well. Like, I was almost there getting a, another episode or two. I would have probably had all of this like properly done. And maybe I would have been really annoyed by that. Because maybe I'm going to have to move a lot of stuff for the factory. And then everything's going to have to be totally changed. And that's going to be annoying. But oh well. Can't remember exactly what we needed for the factory either. Don't have space for it. I'm wondering whether to move a few things around so that we do have space. such as lamp posts. And these things. Like anything that's kind of sticking out over here, I think we need to move backwards. Possibly even this generator as well. We'll just move them around. So that I've got this big bit of space over here. I might move this lamp post as well. Just in case I can't get it in. I might not even have the stuff to build it, but I'd rather have the space. And I can definitely fit my stuff in that space if I need to. Hey guys, I have a water tower. Okay, lovely. So I should now have enough. Hey, did I not get an extra bit from Anton now? Oh. I'll know because I had exactly almost 45,000. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe we've got a little bit extra. I'm not sure. I'll keep an eye on that though. I don't know if that's changed. Uh, okay, so A and G's is next, sorry, not home. Wonderful. A 
let me in. I want to see. I want to see if I can get the factory yet. So I'd forgotten exactly what it took. I think I put on most of the things I need for it. Two advanced engines. Oh no. Aluminium plate and 18 wooden boards. And it looks to me like it has to be on me as well. So we'll see how many of those have been made. So 18, 18 and 2. We've got enough money now, which is the main thing. Sorry, Albert, I didn't mean to knock you. My fruity tea is getting a bit stronger towards the bottom, which is quite nice. It is cranberry and raspberry, in case anybody wanted to know. I don't know if you would. But just in case you did. Really? Little pest, leave. This is your last chance. Meow, meow. Pinky, what is it? Meow. My eviction from Porsche. Mission start. Follow Pinky. Oh my goodness. Where did you go? Pinky. Pinky. I don't see her anymore. Anything on the map to help me? We'll follow her to Amber Island, okay. Where are you, little one? You're over with Lua. Enter the cave? Oh dear, do I have any healing items on me I do not okay well I'm gonna go in anyway hopefully I'm strong enough for anything it no 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 let's go get our healing items quickly and then I'll pop back I'd hate to be like there with hundreds and hundreds of herbs and ointments and various things like that and for the sake of not going to get them I need to be renamed gems as well. I'll have a look in uh, cooked food as well, just in case there's something in there that will help. Stamina, red mushrooms. Bamboo papaya with egg is decent. Roasted honey with pork gives me a good HP. Oh, crepes as well. Look in there, there's one called healing that I've got loads of stuff in. Like 999 pieces of meat. Antidote, snake berries. Where are all my healing bandages? Will they be taken out of the game? I end up in my fabric chest or something. Just having a look around for them because I had loads of them. I had hundreds. I'll have a look in miscellaneous actually. Aha! Loads of healing stuff in there. I do need to sort through miscellaneous. The stuff that shouldn't shouldn't be in there that is in there. There's clothes in there should be in clothes. But now is not the time because I need to go and and check out the cave, guys. Come on. I did a lot of inventory management at the beginning of the last episode of this episode, so don't want to be taking up all of my episode time with inventory management. But 
It's getting so much better so much quickly. So much better so much quickly? What am I even saying? I'm just worried about this cave. Oh, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Another one smashed. Shouldn't be long now. And those civil core fools are still running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Revenge sure is sweet. Our little pest will regret wrecking our collection scam. No more builder. Back to work. Huh? What is it, bro? Ha, ah, it's you. Well, whatever. I guess we'll have to move forward a few steps in the plan. This time we smash you for good, really. I thought you said it might be dangerous. Ooh! Uh, why couldn't you just pay up first time? Run away! This is a cave we were in last time. How come the cave... So does that, like... So if we go up here, what does, does it all, like, go together with the cave up the top? That's crazy, because that's miles away. That's exactly the same cave. We look around here. Well, there's loads of boxes to smash, so let's get those. We're gonna be money here. Much else money. Okay, so there's like a big door there. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's full on, full on Zelda esque pot smashing that one. That's as far as I'm allowed to go up here at the moment. There's a big door there. Okay. So I went all the way around, all the way up there, and there's like a big door about there. So I'm guessing I can get into the rest of it later. Hmm. That's very interesting. A few barrels to smash and boxes and things. Free money, so I'm not going to say no. So because of that, I think that's uh, put me a little bit behind. I want my box back. I need to repair that now. I hope that's not too difficult. All my stuff's in there. So yeah, of course, if you don't repair your mailbox, then it gives you a little bit more time before that quest happens. So if that's something you're interested in, I would advise just repairing it straight away. We need to tell Arlo, but we can do that in the morning. It's very late right now. It's only actually half past seven. Maybe we do have time. Let's see about this box though. That's more important than telling Arlo just now. I've sorted them out for now. Two wooden boards. I'm guessing I need them on me because it's outside. I'm sure I've got two wooden boards somewhere. So let's uh, look in my little box here. I need to remember it's there. Trying really hard to remember it's there. Got some wooden boards here. Repair that. Confirm. Get all my stuff. Look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. Sort. All the stuff will go into the various boxes it should be in. Oh, so good. You have no idea. I, do you know why I've still got that stupid llama trap in my inventory as well? Is that... Is that Sophie... Uh, close is too early. No, it's that I haven't been to see Sophie. So I need to go and see her later. Okay, that all sorted out. It might be that there's not enough room for um, a... A path back here it might have to be that the factory butts right up to the trees but we'll see we'll see i don't have time to do that now but i do have time to make sure that i have 18 composite wooden boards on me 
They need to be on me as well. So I've got 33. That's plenty. And I have at least 18 aluminium plates on me as well. I only have five there. Another five there. And another five over here. So I have three short at the moment. I'll just check and see if they've been put, for example, into the mechanical parts chest. Which is where they should be. Oh, well, loads of them, actually. That's fine. Ropes can go back into fabric. Boards can go back into wood. All my healing stuff can go back for now, unless I'm going somewhere else that needs healing stuff. I was really, really worried about that, going in there, and then it was just huss and tuss, and they're like wimps. I could take both of them any day. I love the way they're like, we'll take our plan forward and we're going to like hurt Chi Lab. And it's like, uh, no, you're not. No, you're not. It's just not going to happen, is it? Really? Come on. The reason I haven't sold that sword yet, by the way, is just that I want to try and make that into an advanced sword if I can. Otherwise, it's a bit of a waste. Not really a waste, but. Yeah, no. It's much better if I can sell it for 900 instead of 500. Although I do need to look into it, because sometimes I don't do the maths, and I assume it's going to be great, and it's not. Healing, it's just those, and all the meat. So they're in the proper place now, which is great. Um, we've got a load of stuff that can go back into the food chest. Those need to stay, those go, those go. Those are kept on me for for reasons. Cool. So much better. The thing is, when I don't have a, a hundred million things to think about and to do, it's so much easier to put things in the right place, you know what I mean? A and G has something to tell me. My eviction from Porsche. Dr. Jews Clinic. Well, there's loads of stuff to do. Let's have a quick look at all of my um, missions at the moment. So, a boat to Starlight. Hot Spring Villa. That's not Patella, it's Petra. Patella, Patella is a kneecap. Petra is not a kneecap, okay? Yes. That is quite a funny that is quite a funny little typo there actually. I'm gonna start calling you kneecap. Uh no, I won't, because that's mean. It's poor Petra. Poor Petra, I'm so horrible. I'm such a horrible, horrible she lab. Photo with scenery, printing press, and my. Okay. And we need to go and find Arlo. Which we'll get 10 gold for. Oh, I'm so glad we'll get 10 gold. Oh, I need that 10 gold. I'm joking, I'll probably need that 10 gold later on, you watch. Now, Arlo quite often is outside or by the well or something. Um, so I might be able to find him. It is a bit late at night, but he might still be out and about. No, that's Dr. Zhu. I tried to find Arlo. Let me up. Supposedly in here. Okay. I might be able to get... Yeah, they are open quite late, the Civil Corps. Unlike a lot of other places. So, we're going to have a missing Arlo again. People were saying, like, Arlo might be upstairs. When I was... He was literally, like, where I stood... That was where he was meant to be. There is no upstairs, okay? And I'd already checked his room as well. Oh, he's in bed sleeping. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> Only seems to be since this patch that they've actually been in their bed sleeping, but 
That's so cute. Maybe that's where he was last time I didn't check. Maybe I didn't check to think, I didn't think he would be actually in bed sleeping because I've never seen that before in the game. It wasn't the thing I thought they did. Uh... Okay, so I don't think we're getting any more story stuff done until tomorrow. But that's fine. There's loads of other stuff we could do. Loads. In fact, one thing I do need to make sure we've got as well is advanced engines. So, uh, probably the nearest access point is here at this point. Um, if I go into mechanical parts, I'm going to need to take advanced engines if I have them. I have 18 of them. I think we'll be okay. Those are technically relics. They shouldn't be in there. Nor should those. Nor should those. Nor should those. Nor should tennis rackets. Nor should that book on metal storages. I'm just going to take things. If I see things that shouldn't be somewhere, I'm going to start taking them out. Okay, that got a little bit bugged. Compared to the amount of time it's saving me, though, I really don't mind if it's a little tiny bit buggy right now. Should a small clock really be in there either? No. Research notes? No. Venom darts should probably be like in the weapon chest. So they shouldn't be there either. Oh, gee. This is starting to get so much better. I have room now in the relic box which is great could maybe even take some of the relics out of the miscellaneous box and put them into the relic box in fact because we are at the point of the day where I can do things like sort through my miscellaneous box so those are those are food birds nest I tend to put elsewhere any relics need to come out as well. I'll try my best to put them into the relic box. There are a lot of relic pieces though. So miscellaneous is mostly furniture and stuff at the moment. There we are, a little bit of furniture, a bubble wand, more clothing, that shouldn't be there. Rings, tennis rackets. couple of pieces of furniture that I didn't really have time to put in the house or want in the house. Small clock should be put in there because that's something for the house. Right, let's get to clothing. Pop all those in there. Go to relics. Pop as many relics as possible in there. That's actually not a relic, that should be in miscellaneous. many relics as I can fit. Ah, but there are clothes in there. There shouldn't be. Uh, okay, that's getting a bit weird now. Come on. Six of those guys. Oh, they all fitted somewhere. Okay. Oh no, they didn't. They all went into this part of the inventory. So I still have like three or four relics that won't fit in that side. We'll need to keep going into the miscellaneous chest. Overall, we've done quite well, so keep it down to this, to be honest. And that one will go back in there as well. And the doll. Weapons. Uh, 
Weapons went in the clothing chest, didn't they? So I'll put the venom darts in with weapons and clothing. Miscellaneous for the research notes. And then the trowels and the brushes. And then I'll put the pens actually into my uh into my slots, into my Oh Right! We are only allowed to put one of each type of accessory in now. That's why it changed. Right. Okay. Um, let's go and grab a trowel or something like that. All my accessories are in miscellaneous at the moment. So to have plus eight, eight attack and plus four max stamina. And then we'll have to work on getting some other relics. Hmm. I can make sunglasses actually, they would be better. Extra attack, extra critical. Pressing the I instead of E. Uh, I want miscellaneous. Put those back in. Sort everything out. There, so we've got stuff for fishing, stuff for gifts. Those need to go as well. Things for Petra. A few things to sell. Clothing still, for some reason. Why do I have those shorts on me still? The hammer can go in there too. Sword I'm keeping just to sell once I can upgrade it. So everything in my inventory at the moment is in there for some kind of reason now. Which is ideal. I want to get the factory in so I can properly plan this place out. It's not great at the moment, is it? So we didn't find Arlo. Let's have a, a start on this paddle boat. Let's see if I've got enough stuff for it now. I might do. Might be able to make that by next episode. Yeah, I do. That'll be interesting for next time, won't it? A little paddle boat. Ooh. I knocked my... Have a look at the starry night, guys. Had a look at the... Uh, had a knock of my mouse. Oh wow, paddle boat being made. Cool. Although I'll probably do some like huss and tuss and following Pinky around for the uh, for the title and everything like that. I've got so many ideas for the titles and things like that. Whereas like before it was like doing up the workshop, doing up the workshop again, doing up the workshop again. But like it's definitely like come along so much and it looks so much better now than it did. That I don't even mind. Well, I think that's everything I want to do today. So I'm just going to pop into my house. I'm really hoping to be able to do a big batch of these soon, but at the moment, because it's only just come out, I'm like trying to, I'm working against myself a bit to try and get them edited and everything. But I'm thinking tonight, because I streamed last night as well, so that cut into a lot of time. I actually streamed Planet Coaster and it was super fun. Uh, go check out the vault because it, I can't record it and stream it at the same time I found out so that's a bit annoying but I might record some for YouTube. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more My Time at Porsche please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.